So this work energy equation can be explained this way. You have a particle, okay, starting from position one, and if all this route, this path, ends up in position two. Now, position one is before, two is after. Now, at position one, it has a certain kinetic energy at one, okay, this initial kinetic energy. And the final position, it has a certain final kinetic energy, Ke2. And during this path, going from one to two, it does a certain work, okay? And this work is exactly this right here, okay? So work, this term, is work one to two, okay? Going from position one to position two, okay? So this work energy equation tells us that the change in kinetic energy, right, between position one and two is equal to exactly the amount of work that's being done going from one to two. Okay? Now in this textbook, the um, notation is that for kinetic energy, the textbook uses the symbol T, so T2. So this is T1. Okay. And then this term, the textbook uses something called W. So sum is all the work done. Okay. U going from 1 to 2. Okay. So in this textbook, so this becomes T2 minus T1 equals sum of U. 1, 2. Okay? So, and then you rewrite a little bit. So this becomes T2 equals sum of U, 1, 2 plus T1. Okay? So this is the textbook's um, notation. But, okay, it's equivalent. Okay? So, um, I'll be using this form uh, of uh, work energy equation gets more descriptive. Okay? Kinetic energy uh, and this work term is force dotted with S, the position factor. Okay, let's look at examples.